hello and welcome. On this video I'm introducing you to Merillis Action. It's a really powerful uh, game, screen recording and streaming software. It can do it all. I'm not currently using it, I'm using Shadowplay myself because I'm really used to it, but this thing has all the functionality you really need. So let's get started. What is it exactly? Well, as I said, it's a game recorder, it's a screen recorder, you can choose from here. See, it can uh, stream, uh, not uh, just stream, but also record, stream, and do all sorts of stuff. See, you can even put the area, and then select which area you want to record, and blah blah blah. It also has a drawing function, let's uh, put the preview on. See, it shows you the webcam, you can change the size of the webcam in here. Uh, how big or small you want it. It's very easy to use, you can track this around. I haven't seen this kind of functionality in any other game. This, I mean, <laughs> game the software. It's just so good. So you can just uh, track the size and everything. Then you can put this on. You will have this kind of panel in here. You can turn it on and then you can draw on your screen. You can mark things. You can clear this. Let's change the color to like, uh, let's say yellow. See, so you can draw things, like you can point things out. See, this is my uh, cat icon. That's Ellie from Last of Us. That's her sniper rifle and so on. Uh, you also have different kind of modes. You can have text in here. You can uh, write um, my name. Oh, yes. So you can put this, this, this. I don't know if you can drag it around. No, you probably, yeah, you can't. But all this will be seen on your like stream or recording, whatever you want. I'm not entirely sure if it works in the game mode, it should work. I haven't actually tested this in the game, but um, it's really, whoops, a <laughs> good function. So we're gonna turn this back off. There we go. The game recording, uh, you have to launch the game itself, so it just attaches to the game. Anyway, you have this kind of uh, hot up here. You can also customize it, and if I press the record, see it's recording now. It's recording into this file in here. I'll just let it record, give you just a test. And you can also play it back right from here. So you can upload it directly from here. You can go accounts and you can uh, log in with whatever you have. These are the four accounts it uh, currently supports. But I think in future they will add more. I mean, Twitch and YouTube are the only ones you really need. But you can upload it or you can play it from here. See, it's recording now. It's recording into this file in here. I'll just let it record, give you just a... Yep, there we go. Uh, this is like trackable video player. I think yeah, you can resize it too, so you can resize the thing in here. So like I said, it's very powerful software. It, it can do a lot of things. And you can also delete it from here. There we go. Beep. And it's gone. So I'm going to jump through the functions first. Uh, file format, it can uh, record to AVI or MP4. I strongly recommend MP4, a lot better. Uh, this thing, if you have the NVIDIA thing, you should enable whatever works best for you. Uh, video size, you can go original, 1080p. Uh, it doesn't even have 4K for some, some reason, but I guess original is the 4K, so. Uh, frame rate, obviously. See, it can even do 120. Most softwares actually can't do it. And also select which screen you want to record. If you want to record the microphone, webcam, overlay graphics, you can enable this one and then you can browse, which means you can put your logo in the corner. Like uh, I have it on the videos, but uh, you can also use this to put it onto a stream, which is extremely good. Uh, also duration, you can change uh, application. Oh, okay, that's application to record. So you can just um, select a chat window or something like this if you want to just record that. Uh, on the game recording we have time shift. The time shift it's the same thing as in Nvidia we have the loop recording. This is the best function ever in any recording software that supports it. Mm, I think only Shadowplay Raptor and, and Action support it. Basically what this does, so you can change the time in here. So what happens is that it records five minutes, but it doesn't save the file. I mean, obviously it keeps a temporary file, but it doesn't actually save it. So if you play, let's say you play for three hours and there is only like one cool moment that happens, then this thing here helps you save that moment. I'm gonna go into hotkeys for a second and show you. Uh, where is this 
time shift see there we go save time shift to file you can put any hotkey you want in here you can save whatever you want in here so if you're playing for like three or four hours something like this and you don't want to save the entire gameplay then you turn this time shift on and if something cool happens then after the moment happens then you just press uh, alt plus f9 or whatever hotkey you have and it saves the previous five minutes so instead of three to four hours of footage you can end up only with five minutes this is what i'm using in every game this is the best thing ever so instead of like saving entire gameplay you just save the interesting parts and that's it that's why i love this function it's absolutely amazing and i wanted to mention it again uh, microphone we have microphone settings so you can um, record microphone into separate audio track if you want to this is also useful but i'm not really using it uh, you can also choose uh, record and button down or you can toggle it on and off these are hot keys if you want i'm having it always on and same with the webcam so you can choose the size and stuff from here if you want or you can use that preview mode if you want and the same thing in here so you can change the size you can change if it's button on and off and whatever the chroma key i believe that's for the razor or oh, no 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 the chroma i think that's the sorry that's the um, uh, removing of the background i believe that's what it is so you can remove like uh, if you have a green screen behind you then you can remove it i uh, confuse it with something else but anyway let's move on to uh, live streaming you can go to account manager which i showed you you can choose whatever you want in here twitch or um youtube or facebook i don't know what smashcast even is but once you uh, log in you can change whatever you want you can put the title you can change the video size frame rate bit rate uh, if you don't know about the bit rate then i'm gonna try to explain it as best as i can uh, so i'm gonna open the calculator and show you exactly this is bit rate which means megabits per second it's 6000 megabits per second right so 1000 megabits uh, what is going on? I didn't click in there. 1000 uh, divided by 8 equals 125. This is uh, 1000, uh, okay, you can't even put 1000, but 1000 megabits per second will be 125 kilobytes per second. So if you measure your upload speed, and let's say your upload speed is like, uh, what's normal nowadays? Anywhere between 250 to 750 is normal. I have about, uh, I think I have 1,000, yeah, 1,500. So in my case, 1,500, right? That's kilobytes per second. And this thing in here, if you have 6,000, you're going to take 6,000 divided by 8. Whoops, what is this 5 doing? And you get 750, which means at 6,000 megabits per second, it's going to use up 750 kilobytes per second upload speed. So if you have anything above this, let's say... Uh, well, you need a little bit of, you know, uh, slack in between, otherwise it starts to lag your games. If you have, uh, let's say, 900 kilobytes per second upload, then you can easily put it onto 6000. I'm just explaining this because a lot of people don't know what to select. Obviously, the higher it is, the better stream quality you have. So if you go really low, it's really bad. I hope this explained this, how what to choose. Uh, right, you also have overlay. Again, you can put the uh, stream overlay. So you can have output, you can even have, wait, what, video plus hard? Well, anyway, you can choose whatever you have that takes it from the URL on some reason. I don't know why it can't take it from your PC, but that's how it works. So you choose your stream settings and then you just uh, have your hotkey and then you start streaming. You can also take screenshots, naturally, PNG, BMP, JPEG, whatever you want to choose. Uh, JPEG is the smallest, PNG is the lossless, so is the Bitman, actually, that's also lossless. I would recommend JPEG if you want to save some space and stuff. Uh, wait, what was this? This I didn't even check. Oh, benchmarking, if you want to benchmark, but that's not nothing important, really. And finally, we have the settings. Let's go through the general. Uh, user interface, mine is 150% because I have 4K resolution, so it's important. Automatically check for updates, blah, blah, blah. This, this speaks for itself, really. Uh, this RCU is remote control unit. So if you go in here, so you can actually have the remote control unit. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. 
Right, moving on uh, for the video settings, to the video settings, uh, output range, I don't think that any monitors nowadays even uh, have the limited, uh, you know, range, so you should have it in full range. Uh, video quality speaks for itself, uh, bitrate, you should always have it on 100% if you're recording just on your drive, it's always better to have. Multi-core recording, that supports the, you know, multi-core CPUs, that's very good. Record mouse cursor, that should speak for itself, that's if you, you know, move it around on the desktop. Same thing in here, whoops, it visualizes the clicks if you record the desktop and stuff. Uh, hardware acceleration for webcam, mm, I don't think you really need it. And here we have automatically split files into parts, so you can see, um, you can uh, split them every 15 minutes or something. I actually prefer this option because uh, if you're working with massive files, if you're doing like a walkthrough or something, I always have problems with massive files that are like more than like, I don't know, 15 minutes. I always have issues with them that they lag when I put them into my, you know, video editor. They always lag a lot, so I prefer using this every maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes, something like this. It just splits the files. It doesn't make you, you know, lose any footage or anything. So, audio, record system sounds, allow multi-channel audio. That's the same thing I already showed you. It's just a different, you know, uh, setting in here. Hard, that should speak for itself. Opacity, that's the thing I showed you on the top and everywhere. Hard startup position, we can change this. Show live streaming viewer statistics. You can also have this on the screen. Export, use hardware acceleration. I'm not even sure what that is. Oh yeah, that's export the files if you want to export them from the action to actually, you know, different files and stuff. And finally, we have hotkeys, which I did show you. So you can go through all this, set it up properly, what you want, what you don't want. Sometimes you don't even need these kind of things. Depends, whatever you want. So you can change the microphone recording and the webcam recording if you want to like sneeze or something like that. You can just turn it off and you can cough and sneeze and do whatever you want and no one sees or hears it. <laughs> but anyway, I think I've showed you uh, all the functionality in this. Like I said, it's really powerful recorder. It's really smooth. It's very, you know, low frame drops and everything. There's going to be giveaway for free lifetime keys. So let's get to the giveaway then. So if you're interested in participating in the giveaway, then just type in the comments uh, TSP action. And this means uh, you will participate and I will choose one of the winners. Of course, you should add something else to the comments, something interesting, something cool, whatever. The comment that draws the most attention is most likely to win. There's gonna be free lifetime keys to give away and as far as I know, it requires internet connection to work, otherwise it can't validate itself. So I think you can still use it offline after you activate it. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I just wanted to mention it, okay? So good luck with the giveaway, and I will see ya next time.